everybody, it's Miss Kay here, and I am here to help you with your bird puppet that you will be making with your families for our Blue Bird film production. We are going to be decoupaging, and I just wanted to go through everything that is in your kit that was, everything in your kit that was sent home, and how you can go about decoupaging your bird. So, everyone should have gotten a bag, and in the bag, you got a bird body. Yes, it looks like a fish, but I promise you it's a bird body. And some wings, la! A bag full of colorful tissue paper, a paintbrush. What you need is some water and some sort of container. I just took the top of off of some container I was using and I'm just gonna use this to mix my water and my glue so that we can make a nice little watered down glue mixture for our decoupage. Oh. What is decoupage? It's basically a fancy way of saying glue, paper, glue. That's the step you take. You put some glue down, you put paper on top of it, then you put glue on top of it. Glue, paper, glue, glue, paper, glue. You do that over and over and over until your entire surface is covered. Let's get started, shall we? I like to take my glue and go ahead and open it up and pour it in. Not the whole thing, just a little bit. As you can see, it is very gloopy. That is too gloopy for the tissue paper that we are going to be using. So we're gonna take our water and water it down. I would start with a little bit of water at first and then you can go through and add more if you need to. We're gonna mush it around, mush our glue around in the water until it combines. If you find that there's too much water, that's all right, add more glue. If you find that there is too much glue, you can add more water. As you can see, it's starting to blend a little bit more right now, which is great. Give it a feel. Now that is probably a little too much water for me, so I'm gonna add a little more glue, just a little, not too much. Once your glue is ready, you can go ahead and get your papers out. I like to put them in a pile on the side. Give me a nice little variety of different colors. I can just start with a little and then move on from there. Friends, we are going to be covering both sides, this side and this side. Same thing with the wings. You're going to open them up and cover this side, let that dry, and then cover this side. So let's go ahead, we'll start with the body first. Or we're gonna use some glue, put it on our paintbrush, give it a little tap, and we're gonna glue it right on the surface. I'm gonna put some paper down. And then I'm going to paint my glue right on top of it. I'm even gonna kinda go around the corner there so it really sticks to the corner. The reason I'm putting the glue over that is so that I can place another piece of paper, overlap it, and it will stick to it. If I skip the part where I put the, the glue on the paper, then the other paper, when I set it down, will not stick as well. So I wanna make sure that there is glue, paper, then glue. Glue, paper, glue. Glue, paper, glue. Glue, paper, glue. Go ahead, make a song out of it. I love me a song. So if you wanna make a song out of it and send it to me, I would love to uh, go ahead and have Mr. Wiggles uh, publish it for you, <laughs> put it in his repertoire for a decoupage song. That'd be pretty fun. See how I'm kind of going around the corners a little bit? That's okay. We want to try to make it as, we don't, we, we don't want any, any spots that are pulling up. We want to make sure that everything is nice down and flat. Oops, you have to also be careful because sometimes tissue will rip. So if you, if you go too hard, it will rip, which is, it's fine. Don't worry about it if it rips. 
Oops, I already did that. I think I'm gonna do, oh, purple. Mm hmm purple. There we go, overlapping. But I also don't wanna overlap so much that I don't get anywhere. I wanna make sure that I'm covering up the surfaces completely. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. Gonna keep going, I'm overlapping. Now you might want to try to do all one color, that's okay, but the birds in the book are all really, really colorful. So I want us to try to make them as colorful as possible because the whole time in our story, before uh, the bluebird is freed, all, everything that we see is blue. But once the Enchantress gets destroyed, everything comes to life and there's tons of color everywhere. So we wanna make sure that our birds are super, super colorful. Now remember friends, glue, paper, glue. Glue, paper, glue. Glue, paper, glue. You can choose a different angle to do. It doesn't have to be all the same. You can do, oh, I did that one, let's see. I think I want a yellow. You can choose a pattern. Maybe you only want to use two colors. Maybe you want to make some sort of design. Whatever you want to do. I'm a big fan of patchwork. I really like when there's just a bunch of colors all kind of mixed together. That's my thing. But you don't have to do what I am doing. You can do whatever it is you want to do. And that is perfect. Whatever you decide to do is going to be amazing. finished my side. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this aside for now to let it dry and I'm going to go ahead and start working on one side of my wings while this dries. Then when this dries I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. Just cover the front and the back of the bird body and the front and the back of the wings. Let them dry and you are set. That's all you need to do. When you finish, go ahead and put them back into the bag they came in. Bring them back to school no later than Monday, January 9th so that we can get them all ready for our filming. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great time making your birds. Have fun puppeting. Yay!